Okay guys, so today I wanted to show you how to sign up uh, with Coinbase. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're new to this whole cryptocurrency, uh, Bitcoin thing, um, you know, usually everything is straightforward. Just sign up, you know, fill out the information that they are asking of you. Uh, and that's generally it. Um, see now, if you're new to, if you're new to uh, Bitcoin and how to purchase it and all that, um, Coinbase is actually one of the companies that you can use to buy Bitcoin uh, with your bank account or with like let's say your credit card or your debit card. Uh, but either way, you're gonna you're gonna convert uh, USD to Bitcoin, and uh, and they make it pretty much super simple, on, you know, how to do it. Um, and then vice versa. So, like, let's say, for example, you get all your earnings from your investments or your trading or whatever it is uh, that you're into. Um, you're basically going to take Bitcoin and you're going to transfer it back to your bank account. Okay. So now what uh, I'm going to walk you through the sign up process because with Bitcoin, things are slightly different. Uh, you know, it's your traditional, you know, you sign up, put in your information. Um, but the way a lot of these places, uh, a lot of these websites use to confirm your identity, sometimes you have to take, uh, or actually most of the time you have to take a picture of yourself with a piece of paper, you know, with a signature with your ID or something similar to that. Or like, I remember one time, uh, I used coin mama to buy some Bitcoin and they needed a picture of me with my credit card. So, uh, and that's how they verify that you are who you are and that you're actually, you know, the account holder or, you know, the card holder in this case, in my, well, in my case, um, you know, to know that, you know, it's a legitimate transaction, right? So, uh, basically, so you click on, uh, the sign up button over here and you click on, you know, you just fill out the information. Uh, I'm going to set up an account for my wife. It just has to be your real name and legitimate email address, uh, just because they need to be able to contact you if anything. Okay, and you have to use pretty uh, long password um, and pretty complex. Uh, my password consists of uh, uppercase, lowercase numbers, alphanumeric number, uh, alphanumeric uh, characters, uh, you know, like exclamation points, stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, this no, this password, you, you are going to want to remember it, write it down somewhere, um, and actually, uh, you know, and put it somewhere safe, uh, so that if in case you forget it, you can always remember it. You know, you can always refer back to where we wrote it down. Um, and then, uh, okay, click on that robot. I certify that I'm 18, and I can generally create this account. So now, what's going to happen is they're going to send you a verification email, so that to verify that the email address is correct. Uh, you know, because the last thing you want is you know for the email to go to the wrong place. And, you know, nobody definitely wants that. Okay, so basically what we're looking for in our email is the email from Coinbase. Okay, still nothing yet. Let's see what they say. Okay, sometimes it might take a couple of minutes. Uh, okay, no, it looks like it, uh, it arrived. Okay, so now we verify our email. Verify your email address. It's going to take you back to Coinbase. And then here's where, um, here's where you have to select if you're a business or an individual. You know, select whichever one applies to you, which I guess 
uh, for most people is going to be individual. Make sure it's selected. Click next. Uh, just type in your phone number. Uh, let's see. Okay, then you choose your country. Okay, let's see. Hey, my wife is not here with me, so let's see if I can skip and do this later. All right, so now once you're on your dashboard and you finished uh, verifying your phone number, um, or if you skipped it like I did, um, it's going to bring you to the dashboard and it's going to tell you uh, what the price of Bitcoin is today, Ethereum, which is another coin uh, that. Uh, that pretty much represents the technology of Bitcoin, uh, you know, the blockchain and everything you can do with it. Uh, you know, because you can do smart contracts and, you know, uh, a couple other things. Um, and then basically Litecoin is the same as Bitcoin, except the transactions are cheaper uh, and the network is a lot faster. Uh, okay, so basically once, um, once you're on your dashboard, you can see, you know, the the price and how it's been doing over time, uh, what the changes are in the past, you know, what, whatever you set it to, uh, which is if you want to see what it's been doing in the last hour, last day, uh, week, month, year, or whatever history they have. Um, you can see that uh, over time, Bitcoin has uh, has done pretty well. It's actually it's gone up about $3,000 in the last year, of $3,300 in the last year, and that's over 556%, uh, uh, which games like this you, you won't see in the stock market ever, uh, or at least not to my knowledge. Um, you know, and that's how well Bitcoin is doing. Uh, and as you can see over time, it started off basically a penny stock, and then eventually it just, the momentum just grew and grew and grew and grew, and now it's, it's growing. It's going to continue to grow um, as the years go by. And uh, but anyway, so getting back to uh, Coinbase, um, on the top right-hand corner over here, you're going to click the down arrow. Then you're going to go to your settings. And here is where you is where you enter all your banking information. Uh, you know, personal profile uh, and everything. I'm not going to go through it because uh, my wife, um, you know, I'll make her fill all this out and stuff. But, you know, you need to enter your all your real information, your address, phone number. I think they're going to verify, they're going to ask you to, um, to send them a picture with your ID. Um, and everything is secure. You know, anytime, anytime you see this lock on a website up on the top of the corner, I'm using Firefox, but usually there's a lock over here and it's and it shows it in green. Uh, you know that everything is secure. Um, and yeah, so all this information, uh, just fill it out. Security. If you're going to use the the Google Authenticator, the two the two factor authentication, I highly recommend you enable that. Um, you have to download. You have to download an app to your to your phone. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, it's right there. It's called the uh, Google Authenticator. And when you click on that, you're going to have like a series of numbers, and these are all the different programs that I'm involved. You know, has different numbers, uh, and this is uh, a, this is just a secondary. Authentic authentication tool so that you know the website knows that it's you. So if God forbid you know someone ever gets hacked uh, and the you know the hackers discover your password, uh, if they don't have the authentication code, they can't get it. Um, so definitely enable that and finish that process uh, when you do enable it. Uh, and yeah, and just go through your accounts. 
and uh, you know your payment methods. Here's your where you're gonna link up your bank account and all that information. Um, you know, just you know your your standard routing number, all of that. So you know, just take your time going through all this right here. Fill it out um, because also another thing why you want to you know do all the verification process is because what they'll do is um, they'll increase your daily limits uh, as far as purchasing, withdrawing. Uh, because let's say, you know, you get into this, I don't know, let's say with, you know, $250, I think it's the minimum, uh, without verification. Let's say you do really well in some trades over a period of a couple of months, you know, you forget about verif verifying all this and let's say you're going, you know, now you have, you went from $250 to let's say 20 grand, um, now, if you want to withdraw that twenty thousand uh, dollars, it's going to take you a couple of days without verification. Whereas, if you verify yourself, you can. I, I, I'm not exactly sure as far as those type of numbers, but uh, I know you know you'll be up to like twenty five, five thousand um, dollars as far as you know withdrawing and you know purchasing and all that. So uh, definitely get yourself verified. Uh, and complete the process and you'll be squared away uh, you don't have to worry about that um, and that's basically it uh, so um, next what we're going to talk about is uh, buying bitcoins uh, buying bitcoins to coinbase and that's going to be in a separate video okay guys so another thing I wanted to show you real quick was your your limits Right here, as you can see, uh, I am fully verified. Well, almost verified. I still gotta upload my ID uh, and verify my identity. But uh, as you can see, I can, from my bank account, I can buy up to 5,000. Uh, and it tells you how much you're remaining. And these are weekly limits. Uh, your credit and debit card, um, it's 500. And then withdrawal is up to 10,000. So, I would imagine if once I uh, upload my ID, it'll increase my limits even further. 